Hey folks, Purple View. You know what this channel is about. Anything building, we're talking interior design, architecture, building codes. You know what it is. It's purple. You know what it is. Originality, distinction, good taste. Purple View. Now, today's video is, is a pretty short one. It's just uh, sort of uh, an update of the last video. You know, the possibilities of low cost housing and you know social housing i mean these are things that are really important to me as a professional uh, i think the first video looked at uh, the possibilities of low cost um, you know income housing and i did say that the the houses were not you know in any way affordable by people who were low income let alone even the medium income people couldn't afford it you know and uh, let alone the low cost um, you know uh, the low income earners now you know i was just talking with some colleagues and you know we are discuss we are discussing this topic and it, it came out quite clearly that there's a distinction between the social housing and the low cost housing now low cost housing we're looking at people like you know myself you know the, you know um, regular people now we're looking at um, the cost of between 10 to 12 thousand dollars so if a building is costing uh, like 10 to 12 thousand dollars that can be categorized as low cost housing and you know what would um, impact on the costing has to do with the material content of the building you know, we're looking at the kinds of um, materials you know that would go into making the building affordable now um, you know I've looked at various um, options um, we, there's even the, the option of styrofoam where the internal partition of the building you know we have used styrofoam uh, we make some certain uh, panels and use styrofoam and this definitely impacts on the, the cost um, so that's that's very key so the idea of this is to use locally available materials um, we can talk of um, you know even cane we're talking of bamboo we're talking of thatch which can be engineered you know to suit um, you know that kind of a housing we are looking at even there's even coconut fiber uh, jute stones you know so that's for low income and now when we want to look at the social housing we you know we talked about social housing is is for people a uh, majority of people who cannot afford to pay for accommodation you know that's you know I, and I talked about uh, homelessness in my in my in my you know maiden video as far as the possibility of low cost housing is concerned. I talked about homelessness and these the social housing are for people like that. And I think it is imperative, it is key, you know, that we as the the pundits, we as the uh, professionals, we as the nation builders, we as real estate people look at this phenomenon and and, and you know take it by the, the, the horn, you know, because there are too many unplanned settlements that are developing in many parts of Accra, like I mentioned in my other video, you know, uh, they're using salvage building materials to form some kinds of structures. We're looking at corrugated sheets, iron, broken wood, you know, there's virtually no services available for them. You know, even movement within the premises is, becomes a problem. And obviously these things, impact on the urban landscape it leads to flooding it leads to you know pandemic this disease you know and all that so i think that the powers that be need to take this issue quite seriously um the social housing you know and you know uh, mad adobe is one of the key things i think that would is, is i think is a worthy substitute that would um replace those kinds of settlements that i'm talking about we can look at even sometimes people even use leaves or specific trees there's jute <clears throat> stones 
and even sandbags in, in certain parts of Africa, I think Egypt, they use sandbags to do some kind of a construction, you know, and, and it works out perfectly. I mean, these are the possibilities that we need to explore. You know, we're looking at old bamboo, we're looking at cane, reeds, uh, clay bricks, you know, with Adobe, you know, you can you, use the clay bricks, you can be engineered, you know, and, and, and these things impact on cost. Even coconut fiber, you know, with stabilized so these are all technologies that I think that we as industry players need to explore to help in, in, in social housing. And so like I explained before, there's a difference between the two. We, we're talking about low-cost housing, which is low, you know, for regular people. Even, you know, even some of our professionals don't even have, don't even own homes, you know. So these low-cost housing schemes are ways for people to be able to um, and, and get, get, get a place to lay their heads, you know. So as long as the materials are locally acquired and the spaces are strictly uh, designed for specific needs of, of, of the occupants, you know, so that these things can, you know, be reduced and actually be low-cost housing. Because currently the, the, the buildings that we have in this country that are, you know, we are touting as low-cost is obviously not low-cost because we are looking at fifty thousand dollars and over and, and and that cannot in any sense of the word be categorized as low cost housing. You know, but when we talk of low cost housing, like I said before, we're looking at between ten to twelve, thirteen thousand dollars. You know, and and then these things as long as we use the locally available materials, then we can get to that level where we can say these are low cost housing. And then we want to look at you know, social housing, you know, that is also quite a, a, a key thing, you know, in, in solving our homelessness issues in this country. So I think that Adobe construction is something that we really need to look at. And then I think it would go a long way to help a lot of us off the streets. You know, this homelessness issue has to be sorted out. You know, so we're looking at bamboo is also another very good material that we can use for social housing. And like I said in my previous video, it has a high tensile strength, so we can go multi-levels. You know, um, there's jute, there's the even stones, you know, all these things are, you know, stand, these are key things we need to you know, um, study and, and use in our social housing uh, schemes. And then of course, I also talked about container homes. It's also a way to go. So, it, and, and that can be used for low in cost, um, low cost housing, you know. Um, you, can, you can do the insulation with styrofoam panels you know, both in and out to help with, you know, the energy efficiency and all that, making the place, making the thing habitable. And, and it's easier and quicker to build as, again, it comes down to the numbers, you know. So uh, this is just a, supp a supplementary video to the, uh, one, I, the one I just uh, did. And I hope you guys um, appreciate that. You know, um, like I said, industry players, the pundits, and we as professionals in the industry need to look at this and, uh, you know, make this uh, homelessness in Ghana a thing, uh, you know, a thing of the past. And, you know, I also talked about the mentality where we think that as long as a building is not by brick and mortar, it's not, it's not, it's not good, that we should disabuse our minds of that. This has this this is this is a modern times. We need to look at the kinds of building materials that we have within our locality, and you know, um, you know, take advantage of this to solve our homelessness issues. So thank you, folks, for watching once again. And uh, if you have any you know suggestions or any topics that you think. You know, you wanna um, ask to talk about. Uh, feel free uh, to, you know, write it in the column below. But 
once again I would urge you guys to subscribe to this channel uh, to, for us to keep the information flow going you know and, and it will help you so much thank you so much for this video uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you again